so let me show you how to give access to your google apps script run from your google id okay so uh, before proceeding let me clear one thing you don't need to do this thing every time you run the function you only do this once uh, in your entire life cycle of this script so when you just uh, finished uh, write your code uh, then save the code select any function in your script like uh, we select test here and then click run once you click run it will ask for the authorization required uh, required and uh, then you click the review permissions okay click here then it will open a new window with uh, option to choose which google id do we want to run this code i mean uh, who which id will host this execution okay in this case we select our um, gmail id and then google just give you a warning that google don't know what script this is because it is not google's own script but this is yours or uh, in this case this is my script so i know what it is and what the uh, risks factor so uh, it's just a warning google let you know that there is some uh, risk be if this script is a third party is this script so we know this so we want to uh, uh, run the script okay then so then if then we click advanced and when you we click advanced uh, this will sh uh, show up go to your script name here then click here and then in uh, another window open and it will sh uh, actually uh, show us the scope of this access i mean uh, what we are we giving access to this script in this script we use spreadsheet app and slide app so uh, this script we have the scope of seeing editing creating or uh, and relating our google slide presentation from our google drive okay and another thing is the seeing editing creating deleting uh, of our google spreadsheet okay so uh, this is the if we add any other uh, uh, google uh, utilities then that also will um, add it here okay uh, once we agreed with this just click allow it's done uh, you will get a notification mail skip these things you will get a notification mail that will uh, the summary of how, what will uh, ac give access don't worry about that that's that the google google's job they they want they notify you and it's done now you can run your script anytime you want okay like this and we have the log here okay i i think it's clear to you thank you very much and uh, before uh, ending the video let me uh, clear and some other things why we need to really uh, follow this uh, process because uh, scripting is a wide range uh, has a um, wide range of scope okay so if we have a uh, i mean wrong intention i mean illegal intention or any, uh, any illegal job we can do that uh, uh, as like uh, any computer virus or um, hacking tools whatever it is so as this script is run under the google's uh, cloud server google wants to be clear that these uh, are uh, the clients concern and clients to these things not google so uh, they are trying to um, get free from the legal restriction or the restriction so so they just warn us uh, for i mean the, the, they take the concern of ours that this is our script and we run this on our own risk okay uh, this is the uh, reason for all this uh, otherwise uh, okay it's actually the, the uh, security matters uh, and uh, i think we know that's very well so don't think it is a bother uh, it's really important matters and it really make make secure your data your file and other things a, a single or a simple uh, i mean step can protect you from any kind of uh, i mean digital 
fraud or fraudulent activities okay uh, thank you very much for seeing this end uh, hope, you, hope you guys doing well okay happy developing